everybody. Happy Friday. I mean Tuesday. I mean what freaking day is it? I'm losing my freaking mind. Uh, it is Tuesday. We're on drink number six, I think. And tonight we're doing a peach mojito. Um, I kind of let you guys know in advance the ingredients that we were going to use tonight. Um, so you can either make it along with me. I hope this video finds you guys. This is the first night that I'm doing it from my page. So I'm a little nervous about it. If you miss it, I am going to then send it to my Facebook page. So you can let me know when you reach it. If you do see, like I said, this is new. So I'm a little worried about tonight, but we'll figure it out and we'll go from there. So we are going to start. I'm going to take you guys over to the ingredient board and show you hi. And then show you uh, what we have going on for tonight's beverage. Because I put the counts on there. One sec. All right, today's drink, we are doing our peach mojito. We are doing a six count of rum with our mojito mix, or you can use a simple syrup. We do a lime and a mint, which we muddle those. We do a two count of peach tree schnapps, and once that is all completely muddled, we tap it with a Sprite or a 7-Up. Some people use club soda if they don't want the, like the sweet, the soda flavor. So, um, we do have... I'm going to do this kind of half and half just so you guys get the visual because this is a drink. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you are attending terms. Some people are like a muddle. This is a muddle. It's like you beat the, um, the lime and the mint. You kind of like mash it in. If you guys have ever ordered these, you'll see. If you've probably watched people prepare your drink. Uh, for those that haven't made them though, you actually muddle this. You like beat the ice. It like crushes the ice. It blends everything together to give it a really good flavor. Um... So what I'm gonna do is put half of the ice in my glass. So when we make our drink, half of the ice is in here. And we're gonna do our mint sprig. Take a few little pieces of mint and we drop them right in here, okay? And I'm gonna take two lime wedges. I went ahead and cut them to save some time. And we're gonna take our Bacardi and do our one, two, three, four, five, six. Now mind you, we're adding peach schnapps, so if you don't add a flavor, you can do strawberry. I like peach because I'm a peach person. So um, there's any little flavor you can add to these. I'm sure you've been at restaurants. Um, Cheeseburger in Paradise used to be on Hall Road. That's where I discovered the peach um, mojito, and I loved it because it was refreshing but fruity at the same time, and I love that. Um, I know you'll see a lot of the drinks that I drink and you'll think, ugh, really sweet. There's no way I could drink them the way that I drink them if they were overly sweet. I have to have consistency. I have to have good flavor. If it's too much, it's like where you can enjoy one and then just be done. So it's, they're not overly sweet. They're very refreshing. So with that being said, we're going to add our peach. One, two. We don't really have, um, you can't really put a pour on that because it's the little pint. And then we're going to add our mojito blend here. A little bit of that. And then we're going to muddle this, okay? I'm going to bring this over here so you can see. It's going to be loud because I'm going to be on the same counter here. You're getting that mint the flavor kind of mixed all around, and then you're squishing the lime. So all that fanciness is going into your glass. So now I'm going to add the rest of my ice, and I'm going to muddle that too. And then it's like white crystal ice. What's on it? And any of you that know about their ice knows exactly what I'm talking about. So I grabbed a clear glass tonight so I could give you guys a view of what this will look like when it comes out. Notice how all of that is mixed around. And notice how there's a little bit left on the top. That's on purpose. That is for, I'm going to use Sprite tonight. And we're going to top this. 
You can also add, um, like I said, this mojito mix. I've actually never tried it before. I just grabbed it because I saw it. You can do, um, it's got to be even, like half and half of powdered, or not powdered sugar, um, sugar or um, like half sugar, half hot water. Some people add powdered sugar to their drinks. It just gets, it can get really expensive. It can get really, I try to find different ways where the flavor's good, and which I've shown you. Um, less is more, always, is what you're going to hear from me. Whatever you can do to make it taste good at the, at the best price is the way that I'll always go. I always find my little back roads. So I'm going to grab a straw and we're going to see just how great this turned out. I'm really nervous doing this from uh, this page today. Hi, Tina. How are you? I know I'm excited, too. It's the first one I've actually made from home. All right, ready? I'm ready. I don't even have the words. I, I'm just, I'm a sucker for words right now. This is so good. It just tastes like a, a minty peach. Just, oh my gosh. It's like, I just wish it was summer right now. I need a freaking cabana. Cabana and a freaking oil boy. Where's my husband? You know? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Uh, for those of you that like wine or Moscato, please join me tomorrow. We're going to have Wine Wednesday with the freaking G-Way again. So, um, it's going to be really simple. The video won't be very long. But um, it's just different ways that you can add uh, flavors to things you never realized how good they would taste by just adding a little bit of zip or a little bit of sass. So, um, like I said, it's a short video tonight. Hi, Chad. It's no big deal. You're still here and that's all that matters. But I hope you guys love this. I hope you got to make it with me. And if you didn't get to make it tonight, take this recipe, share this recipe. Um, please continue to promote this page. Please continue to promote the, uh, the YouTube channel because the more followers and subscribers that I get to that, the more the word gets out. So that will be able to keep us going and uh, it's just a lot of fun. And I really hope you guys are enjoying yourselves because I'm really enjoying myself. This is a lot of fun. So thank you for your time. I Thanks for tuning in. Um, like, share, follow, subscribe, and have a great night. Again, everybody take care of each other. Take it one day at a time. Have a good night. Love you all. Bye.